The Auckland Islands Maori, Motu Maha or Maungahuka, are an archipelago of New Zealand, lying 465 kilometers (290 miles) south of the South Island. The main Auckland Island, occupying 510 square kilometers (200 square miles), is surrounded by smaller Adams Island, Enderby Island, Disappointment Island, Ewing Island, Rose Island, Dundas Island, and Green Island, with a combined area of 625 square kilometers (240 square miles). The islands have no permanent human inhabitants. The islands are listed with the New Zealand Outlying Islands. The islands are an immediate part of New Zealand, but not part of any region or district, but instead area outside territorial authority, like all the other outlying islands except the Salander Islands. Ecologically, the Auckland Islands form part of the Antipodes subantarctic islands tundra ecoregion. Along with other New Zealand subantarctic islands, they were designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1998. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography. The Auckland Islands lie 360 kilometers (220 miles) south of Stewart Island and 465 kilometers (290 miles) from the South Island Port of Bluff, between the latitudes 50 degrees 30 and 50 degrees 55 S and longitudes 165 degrees 50 and 166 degrees 20 E. They include Auckland Island, Adams Island, Enderby Island, Disappointment Island, Ewing Island, Rose Island, Dundas Island and Green Island, with a combined area of 625 square kilometres 240 square miles. The islands are close to each other, separated by narrow channels, and the coastline is rugged, with numerous deep inlets. Auckland Island, the main island, has an approximate land area of 510 square kilometers, 197 square miles, and a length of 42 kilometers, 26 miles. It is notable for its steep cliffs and rugged terrain, which rises to over 600 meters, 1969 feet. Prominent peaks include Cavern Peak, 659 meters or 2,162 feet; Mount Rainall, 635 meters or 2,083 feet; Mount Derville, 630 meters or 2,067 feet; Mount Easton, 610 meters or 2,001 feet; and the Tower of Babel, 550 meters or 1,804 feet. The southern end of the island broadens to a width of 26 kilometers, 16 miles. Here, the narrow channel of Carnley Harbour, the Adams Straits on some maps, separates the main island from the roughly triangular Adams Island, area approximately 100 square kilometers or 39 square miles, which is even more mountainous, reaching a height of 705 meters, 2313 feet at Mount Dick. The channel is the remains of the crater of an extinct volcano, and Adams Island and the southern part of the main island form the crater rim. The main island features many sharply incised inlets, notably Port Ross at the northern end. The group includes numerous other smaller islands, notably Disappointment Island, 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles northwest of the main island, and Enderby Island, 1 kilometer or 0.62 miles off the northern tip of the main island, each covering less than 5 square kilometers, 2 square miles. Most of the islands have a volcanic origin, with the archipelago dominated by two 12 million year old Miocene volcanoes, subsequently eroded and dissected. These rest on older volcanic rocks 15 to 25 million years old with some older granites and fossil bearing sedimentary rocks from around 100 million years ago. Climate. Port Ross features a subpolar oceanic climate CFC according to the Köppen climate classification system. 
Like many other subpolar oceanic climates, Port Ross, along with the Auckland Islands in general, are characterized by the near-constant overcast weather and never being too hot or too cold. Carnley Harbour also features a subpolar oceanic climate CFC according to the Köppen climate classification system, though it exaggerates the features shown in Port Ross, as it is much wetter and a lot more affected by ocean moderation. The Auckland Islands have a fairly constant cool and mild weather year-round, with neither winter being excessively cold nor summer excessively hot. The climate is most similar to that seen in the Faroe Islands and Aleutian Islands. History Discovery and early exploitation Evidence exists that Polynesian voyagers first discovered the Auckland Islands. Traces of Polynesian settlement, possibly dating to the 13th century, have been found by archaeologists on Enderby Island. This is the most southerly settlement by Polynesians yet known. The Whaler Ocean discovered the islands in 1806, finding them uninhabited. Captain Abraham Bristow named them Lord Auckland's on the 18th of August 1806 in honor of his father's friend William Eden, first Baron Auckland. Bristow worked for the businessman Samuel Enderby, the namesake of Enderby Island. The following year Bristow returned on Sarah in order to claim the archipelago for Britain. The explorers Dumont d'Urville in 1839, and James Clark Ross visited in 1839 and in 1840 respectively. Whalers and sealers set up temporary bases, the islands becoming one of the principal sealing stations in the Pacific in the years immediately after their discovery. By 1812, so many seals had been killed that the islands lost their commercial importance and sealers redirected their efforts towards Campbell and Macquarie Islands. Visits to the islands declined, although recovering seal populations allowed a modest revival in sealing in the mid-1820s. The sealing era lasted from 1807 till 1894, during which time 82 vessels are recorded as visiting for sealing purposes. Some 11 of these ships were wrecked offshore. Relics of the sealing period include inscriptions, the remains of huts and graves. Topic: <laughs> Settlement Now uninhabited, the islands saw unsuccessful settlements in the mid-19th century. In 1842 a small party of Maori and their Moriori slaves from the Chatham Islands migrated to the archipelago, surviving for some 20 years on sealing and flax growing. Samuel Enderby's grandson, Charles Enderby, proposed a community based on agriculture and whaling in 1846. This settlement, established at Port Ross in 1849 and named Hardwick, lasted only two and a half years. The Auckland Islands were part of the colony of New Zealand under the Letters Patent of April 1842, which fixed the southern boundary of New Zealand at 53 degrees south, but they were then excluded by the Act of 1846, which defined the southern boundary at 47 degrees 10 south. However, they were again included by the New Zealand Boundaries Act of 1863, an act of the Imperial Parliament at Westminster which extended the boundaries of the colony once more. <laughs> Shipwrecks The rocky coasts of the islands have proven disastrous for several ships. The Grafton, captained by Thomas Musgrave, was wrecked in Carnley Harbour in 1864. Madeleine Ferguson Allen's narrative about her great-grandfather, Robert Holding, and the wreck of the Scottish sailing ship Invercald, wrecked in the Auckland Islands a few months later in 1864, counterpoints the Grafton story. 
François Édouard Reynal wrote Wrecked on a Reef. In 1866, one of New Zealand's most famous shipwrecks, that of the General Grant, occurred on the western coast. Ten survivors waited for rescue on Auckland Island for 18 months. Several attempts have failed to salvage its cargo, allegedly including bullion. Because of the probability of wrecks around the islands, calls arose for the establishment of emergency depots for castaways in 1868. The New Zealand authorities established and maintained three such depots at Port Ross, Norman Inlet, and Carnley Harbour from 1887. They also cached additional supplies, including boats to help reach the depots and 40 finger posts which had smaller amounts of supplies, around the islands. When a further maritime tragedy occurred in 1907, with the loss of the Dundonald and 12 of her crew, off Disappointment Island. The 15 survivors lived off the supplies in the Auckland Island Depot. In 2019, a helicopter with three passengers crashed into the ocean near Enderby Island when they were en route to uplift an ill man on a fishing trawler. The three passengers all survived the crash and were found the next day with only minor injuries. The rescue effort was led by Richard Hayes. Topic: Scientific Research and Reserve. The Subantarctic Islands Scientific Expedition of 1907 spent ten days on the islands, conducting a magnetic survey and taking botanical, zoological, and geological specimens. From 1941 to 1945, the islands hosted a New Zealand meteorological station as part of a coastwatching program staffed by scientist volunteers and known for security reasons as the Cape Expedition. The staff included Robert Fowler, later an eminent New Zealand scientist. Currently the islands have no inhabitants, although scientists visit regularly and the authorities allow limited tourism on Enderby Island and Auckland Island. New reserves including Auckland Islands were established in 2014, which are about 15 times larger than the reserve on Stewart Island, making Subantarctic Islands the largest natural sanctuary in the nation. Topic: Ecology. Topic: Plants. The botany of the islands was first described in the flora of Lord Auckland and Campbell's Islands, a product of the Ross Expedition of 1839–43, written by Joseph Dalton Hooker and published by Reeve Brothers in London between 1843 and 1845. The vegetation of the islands sub divides into distinct altitudinal zones. Inland from the salt spray zone, the fringes of the islands predominantly feature forests of southern Rata Metrosideros umbellata, and in places the subantarctic tree daisy, Olearia lyalii, probably introduced by sealers. Above this exists a subalpine shrub zone dominated by Dracophyllum, Coprosma, and Myrcene, with some Rata. At higher elevations, tussock grass and megaherb communities dominate the flora. Invertebrates The islands host the largest communities of subantarctic invertebrates, with 24 species of spider, 11 species of springtail and over 200 insects. These include 57 species of beetle, 110 flies and 39 moths. The islands also boast an endemic genus and species of weta, Dendroplectron cryptocanthus. Topic: Fresh and saltwater fauna. The freshwater environments of the islands host a freshwater fish, the koaro or climbing galaxius, which lives in saltwater as a juvenile but which returns to the rivers as an adult. The islands have 19 species of endemic freshwater invertebrates, including one mollusk, one crustacean, a mayfly, 12 flies, and two caddisflies. 
Auckland Islands cockle are endemic to the islands. Topic: <laughs> Marine mammals. Only two native mammals exist, two species of seal which haul out on the islands, the New Zealand fur seal and the threatened New Zealand sea lion. Southern elephant seals started to recolonize on the islands, too. A well recovering population in excess of 2,000 southern right whales is found off the islands, and Port Ross area is considered to be the most important and well established congregating ground for whales in New Zealand waters. Its importance exceeds the Campbell Island ground. <inaudible> Birds The islands hold important seabird breeding colonies, among them albatrosses, penguins and several small petrels, with a million pairs of sooty shearwater. Landbirds include red-fronted and yellow-crowned parakeet, New Zealand falcon, tui, bellbirds, pipits and an endemic subspecies of tomtit. The whole Auckland Island group has been identified as an important bird area by BirdLife International because of its significance as a breeding site for several species of seabirds as well as the endemic Auckland shag, Auckland teal, Auckland rail, and Auckland snipe. The seabirds include southern rockhopper and yellow-eyed penguins, antipodean, southern royal, light-mantled and white-capped albatrosses, and white-chinned petrel. <coughs> Ecological history Several introduced species have come to the islands, goats, other useful animals and seed were brought to the islands by Captains Musgrave and Norman 1865, returning to search for castaways, ecologists eliminated or allowed to go extinct cattle, sheep, goats, dogs, possums and rabbits in the 1990s, but feral cats, pigs and mice remain on Auckland Island. The last rabbits on Enderby Island were removed in 1993 through the application of poison, also eradicating mice there. Curiously, rats have never managed to colonize the islands, in spite of numerous visits and shipwrecks and their ubiquity on other islands. Introduced species affected the native vegetation and bird life, and caused the extinction of the New Zealand merganser, a duck formerly widespread in southern New Zealand, and ultimately confined to the islands. The New Zealand Department of Conservation plans to remove the last remaining introduced mammals from Auckland Island, making the entire island group pest-free, in what would be one of the largest multi-species eradication plans in the world. This project started in November 2018, with $2 million of initial scoping work. The total cost for the eradication could stretch to $40–50 million over 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> List of endemic species Auckland Islands cockle Auckland Island Wetter Auckland Island Shore Plover extinct. Auckland Rail Auckland Teal Auckland Snipe Gentianella consina See also Composite Gazetteer of Antarctica List of Antarctic and Subantarctic Islands List of Islands of New Zealand New Zealand Subantarctic Islands Scientific Committee on Antarctic Research Territorial Claims in Antarctica